Ah, imuha lang gi kwan. Imuha yes, lang gi. Yes po, ma'am. Record. Dan na po. Yes po. Okay lang ha. Ah, uh, research na ba. Ay, ang kata food press. Ay, wala na rin. Okay, so... Ganit ko. Okay. So let me just ano share my screen kasi hindi pa wala pa nato natapos no and um this call is being recorded anyway. So regarding your reports wala pa na ko na post. Na post na ako actually ang um, video data last video i ato na lang i ano i recall no uh, about the different topics and kisa pa tayo wala mga topics so sa chat na lang no i-mention inyo hang name para dito na lang po ko mag-assign so for now we will continue with our discussion it's just a very short discussion no and let me share my screen now Kita na mo sa on screen? Yes, Doc. No, yes, okay. <laughs> so, I guess we stop sa reporting sa 10 if I'm not wrong. Blanching ba to o ay 13 da ito? Tama ba ko? So, for sure, wala well, ay 14, 15. But, I will I will um continue the assignment no so and also last time we discussed on the different glossary of terms so letter a tayo and now we'll continue with letter b para mas clear so here so letter b we have start uh, we have bacteria scenes so when we say bacteria scenes these are naturally produced peptides that inhibit other microorganisms similar in effect to antibiotics. So, ano kaibahan niya therefore sa antibiotics? So, in, in the sense, uh, it's antibiotics, ibig sabihin uh, anti- microorganisms no but it is it's similar in effect no but it's different in terms of uh, components so we have the barrel resistance or resistance to high pressure and another um to high pressure and another therefore pag sinabi nating sensitive ka sa high pressure it is barrel sensitivity and we have biological oxidation, a measure of the oxygen requirement by microorganisms when breaking down organic matter used as a measure of polluting potential of materials in water or biological oxidation demand. So it just means na minimeasure yung oxygen requirement ng mga organism but by from the breakdown of organic matter, no? Para um, to show its potential. Now, we have black body, a theoretical concept or material that can either absorb all the heat that lands on it or radiate all the heat that it contains. So, theoretical concept lang yan na meron tayong black body na we can either absorb or um the radiate no the heat so blancher is the equipment used to blanch food so when we say blancher it's the 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 equipment used for blanching when you say blanching or heating foods especially vegetables below 100 degrees celsius for a short time so kaya blanch lang siya kasi below 100 degrees celsius siya. and this in this time 
it would it can inactivate enzymes now which would cause the loss of quality during storage and remove air and soften the food yeah. so we also have blinding or blocking of a sieve by food particles. No, parang, um, nag-block lang, marag lang yung, ano siya ba? Like, kung sa tubo pa, na-block yung tubo or yung sieves. Then, bloom, a thin layer of unstable forms of cocoa fats that crystallize at the surface of a coating to produce dullness or white specks. So, bloom ang tawag dyan, no? Mga cocoa fats. Botulin, an exhaust toxin produced by Clostridium botulinum, able to cause fatal food poisoning. So, it's just a toxin na makakos na food poisoning from Clostridium botulinum bacteria. And we have bound moisture or liquid physically or chemically bound to solid food matrix which exerts lower vapor pressure than pure liquid at the same time temperature. So, it means that uh, nakabound yung liquid sa solid food matrix, no? At low ang kanyang vapor pressure. And we have boundary film or surface or film of fluid next to the surface over which fluid flows that causes a resistance to heat transfer. So, that's boundary film. And breeding, we have the application of prepared pre-prepared breadcrumbs to the surface of the food. So, breeding ang tawag pag ginaprepare mo ang breadcrumbs. So, for now, yun lang muna ang ating glossary of terms. Sa letter B lang muna tayo. No? And we'll proceed with the last discussion that we have on by the way, um, let me just remind you of your reports. Yung nauuna, so last time we talk about properties of liquid solids and gases and I guess we end up on uh sanitary. food processing technology ta no uh no yes density and specific gravity um viscosity and I think we end on wait lang ha material transfer I guess tama ba ko? no? tama ba no? so okay so again um let me remind you of your reports and it's better nga naka-recorded na inyong report uh, and, and i-share na lang ninyo ang video sa ako uh, or during our reporting and be ready for your Q&A. No? So to continue, um, part ng food processing technology ay yung material transfer. Why is, why is it important aspect no, in food processing? Dahil it's the key factor in solvent extraction and distillation. So we should know the factors involved in the material transfer and membrane processing as well and at saka sa loss ng nutrients during blanching. So when you say mass transfer of gases and vapors, these are the primary factor in evaporation. Kung gaano kadami at gaano ka Mabilis. So, dehydration as well, baking and roasting, frying, freeze-drying, and the cost ng freezer burn during freezing. And uh, cost ng lost in food quality in shield. And modified atmospheric packaging and packaged food. So, yun yung uh, importance ng material transfer. So, ano ba dapat ang matutunan natin in material transfer? So, there are two factors that influence the rate of mass transfer, uh, which are driving force para mag-move yung materials natin. And it, if it is resistant or not sa flow. So, when we uh, consider solids in liquids, yung driving force is a difference in the solids concentration. No? 
uh, whereas the gases and vapors naman, yung difference in partial pressure or vapor pressure. So again, for solids, pag anong kaibahan ng solid concentration nila? Is it too dense or too solid, too solid or solidified? Pag air naman, it's the vapor pressure. So, pag may resistance against them, which will arise through the liquid gas or vapor movement or any interaction between the medium of the material. So, meron tayo ditong example of material transfer using the rate of diffusion in the formula. No? Huwag niyo lang masyadong dibdibin yung ating formula. Um, it's just... Uh, it has meaning anyway where yung Na is the rate of diffusion, the diffusion coefficient, the gas constant, the temperature, and the distance across stationary layer, total pressure, the mean pressure yeah. or uh, of non-diffusing gas across the stationary layer, and water vapor pressure driving force. So it, uh, if you... If you will try to know the rate of diffusion, you have to solve the different ano, um, components anyway. So, ano ba to? Uh, this is the diffusion of water vapor through a boundary layer of air in operation sa dehydration. So, last time, um, we actually... Okay. About are we actually done drying or dehydration, de ba? Baking and others. No? So next is mass balances. It's the law. The law of conversion of mass states that the mass of material entering a process equals the mass of material leaving. So um, kung ano yung nagpasok, equalis lang din yon sa lalabas true or false totoo ba yon yes anyone do you believe that ideal or ito <laughs> man um, it says that the law of conversion of mass states that the mass of material entering a process equals the mass of material leaving. Kung ano ang papasok, siya din ang lalabas. Toto, true or false? False? Then, yeah. tentative. Not sure, ma'am. <laughs> so, not all the time. Well, well, of course, you may be correct, no? So, anyway, in, in food... It has application, like for mixing, ta, fermentation, and evaporation. So usually, amount ng mix ng water during ano na na papas eh, na absorb yun din ang lalabas. But according to Isaiah nga, uh, it's not true, not all the time, no. So meron din yung formula: the mass of raw materials in equals to mass of products and waste out. Plus the mass of stored materials plus losses. So, yun yung uh, ating ano. For example, meron tayong drawing dito. The barriers to mass transfer and heat flow due to packaging. So, kahit gaano man kaliit or feeling natin, no, nakapackage na siya in can. Do you think meron pa rin butas ang can? Anyone? Ang mga cans ba natin ay nabubutas or I mean naturally meron siyang butas or spores na pwedeng the smallest or the nanoparticles can enter inside the can? May butas ba ang ano? May butas ba ang cemento? Yes or no? Sa, sa cemento, ma'am, yes, ma. Yes, tama, no? And it's seen true with all the walls, no? Plastics, lahat, meron yan. No, merong butas, but it's not all the types of particles can enter. Like, uh, it only takes nano, yung pinakamaliit na micro particles lang, no? Pag, for example, na, uh, 
we we might be ano um nalilito tayo bakit sa loob ng kan pwedeng masira yung ating mga food kasi even yung kan napaka-fix ng tin meron yang microspores na pwedeng ano as you can see here in the figure may mga barriers to mass transfer and heat load due to packaging ayan at may mga before makaabot yung food so we also have um mass balances analyzed under steady state condition where in nakastore siya so yung stored materials and loss are equal to zero so the balance here uh, are shown in typical balance so usually pwede itong i-calculate no use ang food good evening good evening so i guess yun lang Kasi dumating na ang ating hinihintay joke lang. So, to continue, this is the total mass balance. The um, moist W plus A equals to moist air plus D. So, as you can see in the figure, the diagram material flow during baking naman in an oven. Uh, yung air naman, balance is A plus moisture. A plus moisture equals to moist air. So, that's this is where, uh, you can see the arrow, diba? Inside the oven, yung air will in uh, take inside and um, the moist air will get out, of course, because of heat. And halimbawa yung moist dough, Ang solids niya pop will moistures from the solids will get out as air, um, and then the dough will be baked. No, so that what happened. So event um technically the mass balance is kung ano yung amount of liquid na meron sa food yun din ang lalabas. No, walay buo tayong so, the mass balance for solids naman is W to moist air plus uh, D. And the mass fraction A is equal to mass of component A or over total mass of mixture. So, this is an example computation. Now, hindi naman kayo magko-compute but I just want to show you how food technologies do um their processing no and calculation so um for example no you have to calculate the total mass balance and component mass balance if you're going to mix ingredients to make 25 kilogram of beef sausage na merong fat content na 30 percent using fresh beef meat and beef fat no so you would say um food processing is a science no, it, it's not just an art of cooking food or anything. Um, but food processing is more of cal calculation as well. So, uh, don't mind so much on my computation. Anyway, meron yung formula na follow is just like statistic. So, for example, another example sa milk. No, ito. Uh, you can see... A uh, simple method to calculate relative mass of two materials required to form a mixture. Uh, this is called the Pearson square. Now we're in a uh, homogenized milk. Merong three to five percent fat with cream, twenty percent fat to produce light cream containing ten percent fat. So using the uh, Pearson square, you will see. Uh, the balances, no? From 20, it will be converted to 10, 3.5 to 6.5, and 10. So, that's why uh, square siya. So, this, this is applied to milk. The next, aside from mass, um, aside from mass balance, we also have fluid flow. So, it's just how your um, liquid or fluid flow inside or transported through the pipes during processing, powders, 
and small particulate foods, no? These are easily handled as fluids by fluidization. And gases obey the same law as liquids as well for the purpose ng calculation. Gases are compressible fluids, no? Um, pwede silang uh, expand when cold. No, like for example, tanga kay ko, mahal pa naman kay ang Coke ganina. Iba mahal kay ang Coke karon. 95 akong palit animal, so 1.5 liter. Niya, kay adik mo. Mamalikas di ay. <laughs> animal lang man. Diri mo mo, nalagod na ko. Ay. Dapat magkalinta na yun, 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 no? <laughs> Asa Coke. Sana all, magkalinta na yun. <laughs> so, oh, kalimti na lang yung dinyo inyohang ko ano? Inyohang tawag ana. Dovi, kumusta na dai to by the way, ha? Wala pa mo schedule. Ko. So, Pasara na lagi mi tanan. <laughs> Gani no. Di kumpare pala uh, ang perfect mo. Para wa dai hustle ba? Pasara na tanan. Pasara na gyud ako tanan basta ka lang mabagsak lang ka. <laughs> pwede, Tawad pwede okay. kung ikalipay ninyong tanan. Si na po sila Ay, o tama tama na nang hindi to siya sa ko ah. Pero halos sana nakapas na po. Ah, ah, sige, okay lang. Anyway, moving on. Mag-move on, move on punta sa ano. So ayun. Um Naka-ice kasi ang... So, para buka, ano ang problema? Mawadjod na. And then, pag-open ako, ni <laughs> ang taas kay ang pressure, kaya naka-ice ang coke ba? Pati nilang sukuha talaga kaya nag-shower party ko. Kasi wala makukadto sa inyo hang, ano diba, sa slumber party ninyo. So, naghimuhim ako slumber party na ako. Pating, pating ano eh, kanang fountain ang coke. So, that's the effect, no? One of the effect ng example ng fluid flow. Kay tanga-tanga lagi. So, um, it's very important to know the different properties ng ating fluids. So, uh, sa food, especially sa food processing. And uh, fluids, statics have different uh, fluid statics could be station or stationary fluids. And fluid dynamics or moving fluids are the two properties of fluids, no? And uh, when we say static, the pressure that they exert on the containing vessel, well, it is related to the density of the liquid and the depth of the mass of the liquid in the vessel. So it depends kasi on um, gano kadami ang liquid or the mass ang lalagyan or the vessel. And liquids at the base of the vessel are at, at higher pressure than at surface. So, owing sa weight of liquid above hydrostatic head. So, nag-iiba ang pressure ng liquid base doon sa vessel. So, doon sa base, sa base, sa base, sa pinakababa, mas taas daw ang pressure niya or hydrostatic head, yun nang tawag. It's because, syempre, no, like for us, kita, payat kita sa una, kamu payat gyapon, and when naging mataba kayo, what happens to your legs? Diba? Mo, mo, Pasagdan ano, sa kusina. Magka-cellulite, ma'am. Yes, because of the weight of... Napas Napasagdan sa kusina, ma'am. Oh, anak lang, Jod. So, they... It's very important. So, anong, anong uh, this knowledge is very important para mag-design tayo ng mga holding tanks and processing vessel para uh, construction of materials is enough, no? For the weight of the whole liquid. So, this is a sample problem again, continuation doon, using Pearson Square, wherein yung amount ng orange juice, this is for sugar syrup, na meron siyang 10% sugar content, and meron siyang sugar syrup na 60% sugar content para 
maging 50 kg of fruit squash siya at uh, meron 15% sugar. So, square lang ni muna siya mo nang uh, this results indicates that 45 kg of orange juice should be mixed with 5 kg of sugar syrup. I love you the most. So, again, uh, the large hydrostatic head also affects the boiling point sa liquids. No? Which is important pag mag-design ng evaporation equipment. So, halimbawa, kan binag ko na ganit sa food processing pag mag- Um, for example, kanang pasteurization. So, dapat naka-design ng equipment ni mo. No, the base doon sa fluid flows. So, since the fluid will flow through pipes or processing equipment, magkakaroon ng loss of energy and a drop in pressure. This is due to frictional resistance to flow. And losses and changes of the potential energy, kinetic energy, and pressure energy uh, will be discussed naman sa next uh, by food engineering text. No? And well, anyway, um, the whole um, insight on this is um, the way our leak the capacity or the properties of the liquid, no? Based sa kanilang density, viscosity, and length and diameter of the pipe and the number of bends, valves, etc. sa pipeline. So, this will all affect sa, as I have said ganina, potential energy, kinetic energy, or loss of energy. So, this will also, and overall power will also determine the viscosity of the liquid, of the fluid pala, based sa pipe work. So, ang, ang bottom nito is that, depende, with, it's not stable. Yung water flow is not stable um, when it is at different vessels. Mm -mm. So, This is another calculation balance of energy balance when a liquid flows through pipe. So, wag niyo na lang masyadong intindihin, no? Um, application of Bernoulli's equation to frictionless fluid flow. Okay, so this is just to show you the, the principles behind sa mga properties ng foods that we are talking about liquids. So, another sample calculation on how to know the flow rate. No? This is very engineering kasi meron ding food engineering. No? So you can see here how uh, the liquid will, af will in effect to the vessel. No? In terms of velocity. No, ayan. So this is the fluid flow, velocity distribution, and boundary layer streamline flow or turbulent flow. So, depende sa effect. Ito yung mga different effect, I mean, flow or velocity. Okay, so another fluids, when another sample problem using fluids milk naman and oil. So, how does fluid flow through fluid size bed? So, ano ibig sabihin nito? When air passes upward through bed of food, the particles create resistance to the flow of air and reduce the area available for it to flow through the bed. So even air, we cannot see them, but um, because de depending sa kanilang flow, no? Kasi like, for example, upward yung flow, so naasay um, resistance. Nag-create siya ng resistance. No, through the bed. And um, as the air velocity increases, a point is which where the weight ng food is just balanced by the force of the air and the bed becomes fluid, fluidized, for example, fluidized bed drying. And if the velocity is increased further, the bed becomes more open or it's called the voidage increase until eventually yung particles conveyed in fluid stream, for example, Uh, pneumatic separation, pneumatic drying, pneumatic conveying. So, 
um, you can even calculate the air needed para ma-achieve natin ang fluidization ng spherical particles. So, ito yung example formula. As I have said, ayun na kayo nadibdiban yung mga formula. Kasi, uh, you can always look back to this formula kung mag food processing technologies mo. So, I guess before we end, um, we'll finish heat transfer. So, um, just like Anything, no? Humans to humans, uh, things, organisms to organism, heat transfer is always um, true. It's a fact, no? In food processing, this involves the transfer of heat into or out of a food. Diba? Kaya malumalami yung ating food uh, and we can reheat it again. So there are three ways para matransfer yung heat by radiation, conduction, and conviction and when you in during our in um ambot lang naka nakadug naman morning radiation conduction convection diba sa inyong physics or chemistry tama ba ko okay lang ha 6:14 so we still have time so and about the energy balance so when uh when we say again radiation this will be again discussed no in the next in the next chapters this means transfer of heat by electromagnetic waves yung ating wavelengths if you remember the photo of the wavelengths or if not just google it example electric grill no, kung mag, magsugba ganit or electric grill, that is an example of um, radiation. Uh, Naka-electromagnetic waves siya, pero hindi lang natin nakikita. So, another conduction is the movement of heat by direct transfer of molecular energy within solids. For example, through metal containers or solid foods. So, kapag solid yung food natin, that's conduction. Na, um, especially matouch sa metal. So, from metal to food solid. Um, that's example. Another example is like magtouch ang skin na to, no? From human skin to human skin. So, if you can feel the heat, that's also conduction. Kasi, um, metallic, uh, lahat ng mga metallic din na mga uh, things or materials. Convection is the transfer of heat by a group of molecules that move as a result of differences in density. For example, in heated air. So, pag mainit yung air, marag steaming ba? So, that's convec convection. No? Or as a result of agitation. Example, na stir yung liquid sa so mag-generate ng heat. So, majority application of these three types of heat transfer will occur in different ways which is very important sa food processing. Okay, so, um, I said the heat transfer. So, energy balance. Meron tayong sinat tinatawag na energy balance. So, um, like our brain, no? I remember, um, uh, uh, kasi meron akong friend na namatay yung mom niya because na high blood and then na, na, sana na black gani ang ugat sa, ang ugat o ang brain na mag-control sa temperature. So, dili, and, and because of that, na mat, mamatay siya ka kasi um, dili na ni mo mabalance ang temperature sa iyong body. So, sobrang heat, makadaot po siya. Or sobrang cold, tugnaw kay ka. So, in everything, na enjoy energy balance. no Or the amount of heat or mechanical energy entering a process is should be equal to the total energy leaving with the products and waste or stored energy or energy loss to the surroundings. Kaya, meron tayong loss of energy. ba? Yung katong, um, kung anong amount ng energy mo, it's the same amount na matransfer, but it will be lesser and lesser. No? So, if heat loss are minimized, energy loss to the surroundings may be ignored for approximate solution to calculation or yung quantity of steam, hot air, or refrigerant required. 
So, or compensation is made for heat losses. So, um, this, as I have said, pwede matransfer siya, but it, it will also be lost. No? So, the mechanism of how the heat are transferred, we have called, we have the so-called steady state and the unsteady state, no? Uh, when you say steady state conduction, it's the rate at which heat is transferred by conduction and determined by the, the temperature difference ng mga food or the heating or cooling medium or the total resistance to heat transfer. Again, it always has a calculation. And sometimes this is called the thermal conductivity. Kasi this will involve uh, trans heat resistance to heat transfer expressed as the conductance of a material or reciprocal so and um thermal conductivity is could also be influenced by a lot of factors no depending on nature sa cell and etc so sa in in thermal conductivity ito yung uh, different conductivity and temperature of different materials. So, we have um, aluminum, for example, no? Uh, and the different foods. So, of course, metallic or materials, conductive materials have higher than the rest in terms of packaging materials or insulating materials. So, medyo almost the same. So, the second type is the unsteady state conduction. So, ano ito? During processing, ito yung temperature wherein food depends on the rate of heating or cooling of the position in the food. So, therefore, nag-change yung unsteady siya, nag-change siya continuously. Depende sa uh, temperature around or position ng food. Siyempre, alam natin kung, um, of course, ano ang uh, lalamig first, of course, sa above, no? Uh, the upper portion of our food. The temperature of the heating medium. So, ito yung mga heat, uh, specific heat of selective foods and other materials. And their temperature. Ayan. So, it will range from 0 0.2 to 4.18. So, pinakamataas, of course, yung water. So, the thermal conductivity of the food and the specific heat of food. And then again, meron yung mga formula how to, com to compute them. And uh, we have convec convection, of course. Pag nag-change yung fluids, temperature, it will result in density changes, um, especially in natural convection currents. Example, natural circulation evaporators, which will be discussed on the next chapters air movement in chest freezers and movement of liquids inside cans during sterilization. So, that um, convec these are example of how convection is involved. Meron din tayong tinatawag na force convection kapag nag-steer tayo or in a fan, no? Pag ma-agitate yung fluid. So, that's force convection. So, this will produce higher rates of heat transfer and rapid temperature redistribution because of uh, the reduction of the boundary film thickness. So, force convection is used natural, uh, most commonly than natural convection in food processing. So, a lot will be discussed in the next chapters on force convection, mixers, and so on. And especially kapag ginamit natin yung liquids or gas as heating or cooling media, di ba? Uh, pag nagpa-electric fan tayo para malamig yung food. O transfer ng food, that's conviction again. So another measurement of resistance to heat flow is the surface heat transfer coefficient. This is caused by the boundary film and is therefore equivalent sa term uh, k dash slash x in the conduction equation. So, mas higher ang turbulent flow than in streamline, streamline flow, of course. Kasi pag lalong mas malamig, turbulent siya, katanggalin na sa figure, pag nakamix siya, nag-moving, mas 
daghan ang ma-generate na heat. No? Or the surface heat transfer coefficient are also related sa mga physical properties ng fluid. Example, density, viscosity, specific heat, gravity. So, lahat niyan will um, kanang contribute to the amount of heat transfer. So, these are again the different formulas no, that are used in food processing. And these are the values of surface heat transfer coefficients in boiling liquid. So, um, and their typical applications saan sila ginagamit. So, pag mag liquid, of course, sa evaporation, condensing saturated steam, sa canning evaporation, and so on. So, uh, the co different coefficient will range from from 6, no? Pag still air siya hanggang 60,000. Ayan. So, these are just example of the computation. So, um, this will also show you the temperature changes, temperature changes from hot liquid through vessel wall to a cold liquid. So, ano ba ang kanyang movement, no? From hot to cold with the boundary films and metal. So, pa? From hot, pababa siya to cold. And their distance, depende sa distance lang, food. So, this is the OHTCS in food processing. Heat transfer fluids. No, using different uh, various applications like hot water, air, or air heater. And their OHTCs. No, merong meaning yan dito. I cannot memorize. I'll just go back here. Anyway, so, kasi um, it's almost time. Nara. It's uh, OHTC is meaning overall heat transfer coefficient. It's used to indicate the effectiveness ng heating or cooling. So, uh, depende sa type of equipment. So, as you can see here, um, through parallel or counter flow, heat exchanger. So, as you can see here, um, meron tayong different evaporator, boiler ba? So, ang pinaka mataas ay yung non-viscous liquid steam or evaporator. Uh, pinakamataas na OHTC. Or, uh, heat transfer coefficient. Uh, so, I guess yun lang muna, no? We will stop on um, different um, heat transfer, no? And we will continue on heat and methods of application to food. So, paano na natin ina-apply yung heat and its methods sa pagkain natin. Okay. So, mahaba pa siya before tayo makapag-start sa reporting. Uh, ang next report natin kasi we'll also discuss water activity. Ang next is next. Wait lang. Discuss po tag HACCT. Wait lang, 13, 1, 2. Uh, yes, process control man ang next mo report, no? Isa ganito, muna nakaroon kayo. Nakaroon yes, ma'am. Ikaw, Aljun? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, ready na ka? Tunod saan din ako mag-report, ma'am? Dili pa o yung taas pa kayo ni, but I will try Last to finish. Uh, I will try to finish by next meeting. Sige, sige, ma'am. Magpaabot raw dito, ma'am. Are you sure? Okay, so questions or <laughs> questions or clarification. Stop na ba na ako? Questions or clarification? Wala na, ma'am. Wala po, ma'am. So, medyo, di ba, siguro um, uh, sa, sa AgriBS, we are talking a lot on on um, business, 
and food production, but the principle behind the food that we are handling in food processing is actually different and it's also more of engineering and chemistry so uh, but then let's just try to understand them than um knowing them so deeply no understand lang nato nga ay pwede day ay nana da tong food so nganong maapektuhan siya ug nganong mo na yang effect no like for example matingala na ang tanan ng crunchy man siya no kung i i ato i deep fry nato siya sa mantika de ba oh ikaw daw i i deep fry sa mantika hindi ba ka crunchy no joke lang so anyway see you next meeting hopefully ba at face to face na tayo supposedly naka schedule tayo with face to face karon and ang next activity nato unsa ta next activity nato when po tayo mag F to F po, ma'am? Um, expected by next Saturday. Kaso murag na ako eh. Like kanina, no? Nag-field trip mong good me sa research kanina. So, muna wala ka face-to-face ka ron. So, supposedly next meeting na Saturday. And we are going to have, of course, our food processing sa lab. Um, using, ano sa'yo na itong button? mag tag Chocolate, no? Mag-grind ba ito o mag-roast? Roasting ta, no? Yes, mama. Ano yung magingon katong last meeting? Oo. So, be ready with your kanang... It's, pwede naman siya, no? Duhaon na to. Pwede siya. Pero ba... Ma, dugay mo. Good. Yes, One hour good mag-roasting. So, so, good tag morning, ha? Oo. Oo. Um, tawag na, uh, pwede siya kape, pwede po, o ganang, pwede po, mauna sa to sa kape, no, and then next na lang ang kakao, kay mag, mag, kuhaan mo ba sa kakao, sa tawag na, kung pwede dry na inyo hang kakao, eh, kasi para diretsyo na ta sa grinding, or, ang sige, ang tawag na niya, excuse me, ma'am, hindi tabli yan daan, ma'am, na process na siya daan na para Manginu kay pag tabli yan no Una magrow sa ta ka nang uh, na may na may kinsa rin na mo na kinsa na sabaan Um ang roasting kasi uh, mura pwede na gudang ganang na, gigaling nat ay gigaling gi sangag nato sa karahay but we are going to use machine kasi. So, the, uh, na po siya quantity nga kailangan. Okay, na amog tayo equipment para makita ninyo ang difference. Pwede po tayo mag-try-try. Just, just, bring, just bring your ano, ingredients. So, okay na. So, actually, na, almost one hour na ta. And thank you very much for your uh, active participation. Excuse me, ma'am. Next, next Sunday po, no, ma'am, no? Mag F to F po, no? Po? Not next. Karoon na yung Saturday. Di, Sunday. Grabe po ka, Novi. <laughs> Saturday. Pero mag-update ko kasi morag na kami seminar by Saturday. So, basing makancel yes, ta. Ha? Mag-update lang ko by tomorrow or on the coming days. Okay, mag mag kuan pa baya ka nob no mag schedule pa yes, sa ila okay basta be ready na lang with your ingredients um kape or cacao dried cacao ma'am dried cacao i sandry na lang na mo oh. daan po ma'am no ang cacao po oo i sandry na lang niya kay tanaw na to if pwede na siya i grind i grind na to kung dili pa i roast pa na to Yes po, ma'am. And then, ako i-share sa inyo, ha, na, ano, um, procedure sa pag-roasting. Daama po na sa tanan sa koan, sa YouTube channel. So, don't worry. So, yun lang. Thank you, everyone. And see you next week.
Bye po, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Ma'am. Bye, ma'am. You can leave now. Bye, ma'am. Bye-bye, Angelo. So, yeah. katungo na mga report, ha? Mag-assign lang ka si Chuck. Bye-bye. Keep safe. Bye. Okay, ma'am. Tayo na, ma'am.